Hello again. This lesson is about code matching in GitHub Copilot. Just a little bit on what it is, why you might want to opt in or opt out, and I'm going to show you how to verify it in VS Code. Actually, as of this recording on July 20th, 2024, it works only in Visual Studio Code anyway. We're here in the GitHub Docs looking at an article. As you can see, it's under Use GitHub Copilot Find Matching Code. And I wanted to jump down here. This is important, how this feature works. First of all, let's set the stage. You know the developer adage, don't repeat yourself, dry. And you and your colleagues are working in, let's just make it simple, we're in VS Code, and you're doing your dev work, and you are creating a class, a function, whatever it might be. And why reinvent when somebody might have created a perfectly serviceable definition for you? That is the idea. So... GitHub Copilot, it searches for matches as you type and as you prompt in GitHub Copilot normally by taking the code suggestion plus some surrounding code. So it goes a certain number of lines above and below where your selection is. I don't actually think of it when I work. So I'm just working naturally with the at workspace agent, making sure to manually select what I want GitHub Copilot to focus on and so forth. But what happens is, based on GitHub Copilot's index of all of the public repos at github.com, you can take advantage of those references, all right? So given that, how do you opt in, how do you opt out? At GitHub Cloud, github.com, we can go into our user settings here, and then we'll go under Code Planning and Automation to Copilot, and in there, it's in Copilot Policies. Now, depending upon whether you're an individual or if you're working for a business that provided you your GitHub Copilot license, those policies are likely locked to the individual, but basically it's the same for all, right up to the enterprise level. It's suggestions matching public code, and it's allowed or not from above. We don't need to get into the governance and stuff in this video, unless you really want to. <laughs> I kind of do. Let me quickly jump up to the top of the GitHub hierarchy, the GitHub Enterprise Cloud. And here up in the clouds, both literally, well, it's not literally, but figuratively and figuratively, we can set policies for one, all, or some of the organizations and repos beneath us. And here, if we go to Copilot, we can jump over to policies and let's see if there's anything more specific here. No, it really is just looks either... There's no policy, it's explicitly blocked where GitHub Copilot will never show suggestions matching public code, or it's allowed. But remember the way that GitHub works, that you can enable it for some orgs and not others. And within an org, you can pinpoint who's allowed to use it and right down to the repo level through inheritance. You know all of that. Now let's flip over into VS Code. And if we look in my editor view, there's actually nothing here. I'm not sharing this repo. This is just working on my local file system. I'm assuming that you have a license for GitHub Copilot. You've installed GitHub Copilot and GitHub Copilot chat extensions, and you've signed in and we're all good to go. Now in Microsoft Learn, they uh, suggest that you use a well-known function. Let me quickly find that. In that article that we're looking at, which I'll make sure to link to in the episode notes, it gives instructions using a test file to verify that code referencing is working. Let's try that. I'm going to create the file, and you do the same thing. Fizz-buzz. I tried with JavaScript, and it didn't work. I made it TypeScript, and it did. So take that for what it might or might not be worth. And then let's have GitHub Copilot kick in by creating a function stub. And I'm gonna accept this with tab or using the toolbar. And then without further ado, let's go to view output and let's open up the GitHub Copilot log right here. And this is where the code references show up. Now you can manifestly access the GitHub API as well as the VS Code API. So you could write automation to be notified about this. I wish it were more visible and obvious. I wouldn't know otherwise, and maybe that's why you're benefiting from this video right now. You wouldn't know this otherwise. So let's definitely give this link a click. I'm going to control click, and that takes us into this github.com, github-copilot, code underscore referencing page that I've never found elsewhere. I mean, I'm pretty good at GitHub. I'm okay. 
but I have no idea how to find this page and interact with it otherwise. MIT repos, unknown, so we could scope by repo license if we wanted to. It looks like GitHub wants to show us a code snippet, and if it can't, it will show the full file reference. And so there it is. There's at least one instance where that exact match came to be. So to wrap this up, I have a feeling, this is just my professional intuition, that the public code matching feature in GitHub Copilot is likely either something that will delight or anger customers. I predict it's more of a volatile issue, and I wish that GitHub, frankly, I'm just editorializing here, would be a lot more explicit in the docs and in the IDEs when public code matches come up. I would love to see that in the completion itself when it pops up. Some kind of visual indicator, however you know, low bandwidth it can be. It doesn't have to be some kind of fancy animation. All right, well, that's it. I hope that you liked this lesson. I'll catch you next time. Take good care. Happy studying.